We're at Marion College, Allison's Mansion, and uh, we're, uh, we just completed a 70 seminar talking about uh, the latest news in 70 intellectual safety. Thank you all for coming, and it means you, you know, your attendance here means you think something about safety and you're trying to do something for your organization to make your people safer, and that's great. We talk about what is compliance and what is not compliance, and but more importantly, we, we, we don't care about compliance as much as we do preventing injury. If I can make one person uh, safer, if I can prevent one injury, I'm, I'm a happy camper. It's a mixed group uh, of a lot of maintenance people a lot of electricians, but also uh, a, a good half are safety people. I like the practices that they're establishing to reduce some of these electrical hazards. Being an electrician has always been a dangerous job. Nothing's changed, it still is. It still is a dangerous job. Our goal is to prevent injuries, because 70E is a wonderful tool, and it will save lives and has saved lives. And it could save yours. I hope they get out of it. Um, that, that I've simplified it for him a little bit, that we, 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 7 e can be kind of a complicated thing about what is required and what's not required, what's the law and what's not the law. So my main goal is to simplify it, show them how easy this really can be and, and how simple this is to really look at if you don't complicate it and to how to get it done and prevent injuries. If you look at the documentation, it can be overwhelming, but the way he, the information was presented, it's a practical way to move forward with implementing the program. So the biggest thing I got is the practical application. Let's talk about what's in this crazy book, this, this uh, 70 e-book. It's about 140 pages or so. What I take away is practical application plus the focus is preventing injuries. We talk about things like um, procedures uh, that, that used to be in the evolution of electrical safety. Uh, the way the training used to take place, the way it needs to take place today, uh, the proper methods of using uh, insulated tools, for instance, flame-resistant clothing, uh, how to get an arc flash analysis completed, and what the training ought to look like, and the thing, and, and challenges that they can expect to face. I think it's a really good, really good tool to kind of get a measuring stick where you are as a company as far as electrical safe work practices. It's important for us to do it because there's a lot of misinformation out there in the field. No one's been doing as long as we have, and I think as well as we do it. And um, it's important that we get, get our face out there and meet as many people as we can and get the right message across. And uh, it's all about safety. The more people we greet and meet, the more people that we can help and uh, make safer.